Candy again with Order Your Spaces, a professional organizing company serving Mobile and Baldwin counties. I'm back in a kitchen that we organized last summer and the client wanted me to come in and just do a few tweaks because after living in an organized kitchen for a year, you kind of figure out what works for you and then what needs to change. And so what I love about creating a system is it only takes a few hours once a year to tweak the system because it's already in place. So let's start with the pantry. Now this is an Ikea kitchen. So hang with me because I know most of you may not have an Ikea kitchen, but the things that we did for this client will work in any kitchen. And it's always labels and bins, okay? So this client is a busy mom and decanting is not something she's in love with. We tried it. She said she's not gonna come home from the grocery store and unpack into bins. Even though she thinks it's a beautiful look and it looks beautiful on Pinterest, it wasn't practical for her family. So you know what? I told her buy a ton of clothespins and just use clothespins. Roll everything down. This is her chip bin and so, um, Here's her chips and we labeled it. This is something we did different for her last year. We didn't put the labels on the outsides. The labels were actually inside on the bins. And so we're gonna put the labels here because she does have some helpers in her home with uh, grocery unloading. And if you'll just see, it's just mostly about categories, everybody. So whatever size your pantry is, this works. Here's her popcorn and her nut butters. We've got all of her, this is like a breakfast, the pancakes and muffins, the breakfast bars. This is a shelf dedicated to protein shakes. And then down here, uh, she, she does like her flour and sugar decanted because she said she doesn't have to do that but a few times a year. She just doesn't want to decant every single week. So we put the flour and sugar in these nice acrylic bins, okay? So if you look at this one, Similar setup here, so just let me show you. Now, we had all this cereal last year in acrylic bins and it looked beautiful, but she said it just was not practical for her family, so we're just gonna leave it in boxes. You don't have to decant. The main thing in getting a pantry organized is to get it in categories. So all the cereal is together. We've got, this is oatmeal and coffee, and you say, well, what are the chocolate chips doing here? They put chocolate chips in their oatmeal every morning. So chocolate chips go with oatmeal. A few canned goods, a few soup. Keeping on going down here, we've got the rice. Now we do have a bin inside of here that holds all of her rice because there again, we're not decanting the bags. So we'll keep them contained by putting them in a bin. And then I like to put my spaghetti sauce with my spaghetti noodles. You always pull them out together so it's fine for those to be together. And then the bottom shelf is crackers. There again, look at here. We're just using clothespins. Roll it down and put a clothespin on it, okay? So those are some tips for the pantry. Now, this is the way my client likes to do these drawers right here. They're very similar um, IKEA drawers, and we have spices right here, and then we have all of her essential oils right here. I really do love the way we took all the tea out of the boxes because boxes take up too much room. And then we just uh, decanted and put it in this nice little acrylic divider. These are wonderful, okay, for all of you tea drinkers. Okay, all right, keeping on going. These are her children's drawers, okay? Her children help empty the dishwasher. So we try to make this really easy for kids. This is just their plates and their cups. Very simple. Right here, this is for mom. This is everything it takes to make lunches. The lunch boxes, the things that go inside the lunches, and all the thermoses. Okay, and then right over here, we made this snack drawer last summer, and they have maintained this all year. It has worked really well for them to have a few things decanted, but not everything. And then just all the little individual snacks are in individual bins, there again using our inexpensive Coke, I'm sorry, inexpensive. Clothespins. Thank you, clothespins. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there we go. All right, come over here. Now, one of my favorite things that we did, um, it's hard for me to convince a client in her Tupperware drawer to keep her lids on the Tupperware. 
most people just think that doesn't make sense to me. I should nestle my Tupperware and I should put my lids over here. And if you have that system and it's working for you, thumbs up, keep it going. But it wasn't working for this mom. So look what we did. Oh, this is my favorite. She already had all this wonderful glass Pyrex wear, okay? So she let go of all of her plastic. We kept all of her nice glass. We have the lids on it and it's perfect. I was really proud of this. Okay, if my client has room, I like to do what I call the cutting drawer, which is the knives and anything that has a blade. So that means your pizza cutter, your potato peeler, your can opener, anything that cuts goes in here. We call it the cutting drawer, okay? So those are just some tweaks and changes that we made. All right, I know this seems really obvious. She keeps all of the straws in this container, but we did not have a label on this and it just didn't stay contained. We made one little change right here, straws. And we're hoping that her family will read this label and the straws will actually end up in the container, okay? Last thing for today, girls. Her husband got his own designated drawer for all the things he uses for his grill. And we even made him a label and we're really hoping that he'll put all his grill things back in the grill drawer. So, thanks for watching in today. I hope these tips helped you. Please share this video with your friends because anyone can learn from categories and labels and bands in their kitchen. Share this, thanks for watching in, and we'll talk soon. Bye now.